Hi traders, take a look at the SA and the stock is down 21% which means it's a huge gap down and you expect it to gap and go. That's the whole idea of a gap and go. A huge gap more than 3% doesn't require 20% but the way it moved down initially just didn't give me the opportunity to move in. You see all red candles there. Once it pulled back up it gives me the technical opportunity to move in but not only that you need to remember this move up is where the buyers failed and in a gap and go you must see the buyers fail that gives me the opportunity to short it right over here so I'm shorting now 3,000 shares it's a big mover and I'm expecting it to fail moving higher and as you can see the first move down is nice it's an indication that it's likely to continue but again remember when stock is down that much it's not likely that it will continue to move higher so if you're seeing the stock trying to move higher it's likely to fail it is likely to fail because the gap is just just huge and once the buyers are getting into the game and failing the first sign of failure normally takes it down and down under the lows that's the whole idea of a gap and go always look for the failure of the buyers you need to see the green candles you need to move in only after you see the green candles it just broke down under the lows I'm up eight grand at that point it's moving down nine grand touching the ten grand first sign of a pullback as you can see here there's a first sign of a pullback now and I'm looking for the point where I will have to take my partial and of course I always leave some size taking my partial right here leaving 300 shares and that was really a beautiful move now the same idea with NEO that was my second trade as you can see NEO is down just five percent so it's not a huge gap and go trade over three percent is considered normally considered to be a gap and go but as you can see the buyers came in initially right at the start that's great because the buyers, are, buyers are, are right now out of the game and once the stock is starting to move down you look for the point of no return which I believe is right now so I'm shorting 4,000 shares now this build up of a v-shaped formation you will see it soon is very very important again you have a stock that is down more than five percent more than three percent you have a stock that initially moves up again you want to see the buyers getting out of the game now the stock starts moving lower and you wait for it to come down under the lows one of the options is to add for a stock like that under the lows because you expect the lows to become a support level as you can see it just touched the lows right now it's gonna hold here for a while it's a fast forward of what happened to NEO today and now you can see it still is holding to the lows touching the lows once more you can see the support very clearly once more and finally it's going to break it again look at this beautiful v-shaped formation and once it breaks it it breaks it hard it's a beautiful breakdown you look for the first opportunity now I'm over two grand and I'm taking my partial right here leaving 400 shares first sign of a pullback and it's not just the first sign of pullback it's my one-to-one -one risk reward now it's at the lows and as you can see it continues well I couldn't have known that but you know what that's exactly why I leave another 400 shares for the continued run beautiful breakdown it just continues that was really amazing now again remember this v-shaped formation see how lovely really it worked out in NEO these are one minute candles and uh, it came down quite a lot I feel like it's a little bit extended to the downside and that's why I will take my partial I mean I will reduce my size with another 300 shares leaving just 100 shares so just left 100 shares it was a beautiful technical trade in NEO started with a gap and go failure to move higher you want to see the buyers failing you want to see the, the, the stock comes down you wait for the point of no return a little bit tricky to to say exactly where that point would be you need to be quite experienced but you know what <laughs> join our trading room we have a live online trading room it's free on YouTube or you can pay $99 a month uh, for our live online trading room links are right here below and uh, if you like this video we would really appreciate if you give us a thumb up you can subscribe to our channel right over here and plenty of links right here below uh, to join us and please 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 remember that trading is extremely hard it may seem to you like something simple that I do and just gain a lot of money it is not trading is hard you should start with a demo account you shouldn't lose money you can't lose and uh, probably just trade them until the time where you feel like uh, uh, you can you, you know what you're doing and again plenty of links right here below that you can join and I really appreciate the fact that you're watching this video and here are um, here's the um, 
the end result of my training session today. Thank you very much for watching this. I'll see you in the next video.